Бейне материал ТВКОМ қолдауымен жасалында. Енді көп өтпе ажалға Шумағылов Арман Оспанов, Шавхат Рахмонов, Сергей Морозов, Мария Агапова және Дамир Исмагуловтар UFC-дегі кезекті кездесулерін өткізеді. Бұл турнирлерді қалайша женгіл әрі рақаттана көре аласыздар. Бұл турал мен қазар айтып беремін. Ол үшін TV.com қосымшасындағы UFC TV-ге қосыласыздар. Сіздер планшет, смартфон және смарт TV-ге, Android және iOS қарналған қосымшаны жүкте баласыздар. Сосын TV.com сайтына кіріп, телефон номерлеріңіз бен тіркелесіздер. SMS қабарламасы келгеннен соң жеке кабинетіңізге өтіп, 2200 тенге төлем жасайыздар. Остан кейін қосымшаға кіріп, премиум топтамасын тіргейсіздер. Қарапайым әрі тез. Осы сәттен бастап, тоқтаусыз бандап тұратын пираттық сілтемелерден құтыласыз. UFC TV тәулігіне 24 сағат қол жетімді. Турнирлердің мұрағаты бір аптаға дейін сақталады. Бір жазылым бойынша сіз бір мезетте үш құрлығыдан көр аластыр. Демек өз аккаунтыңызда екі досыңызға бере аласыз. Барлық сілтемелер төмендегі жазбада. Шет ел ақпарат көздеріне сейіне отырып, біз қазақстандық бірінші жартылай орта салмақ бокшысы Батыр Жүкен Баевтың кезекті кездесуі 29-шы мамыр күні Лос-Анджелесте өтеттеген ақпаратты білдік. Қазақтың қарсыласы алдынал айтылғандай Порта-Рикалық Сабрел Матиас болады. Кездесу шоу тай марнасындағы бокс кеш аясын дөтеді. Жүкен Баев Матиас бәсекесі IBF ұйымы ұйымдастырған төртеудің турнер деп аталатын чемпиондыққа міндетті үміткерді анықтау шарасы бойынш өтеп. Екін жартылай финалда британдық Луис Ритсон мен аргентиналық Еремиас спонсор жолғады. Бұл Норген Оубали мен Нонита Донар кездесуінің андер карты болмақ. Остан тура екі жыл бұрын қазақстандық тағы бір женгілмеген профи Султан Заурбек Қытайлық Чен Гон Тау мен кездесу өткізген болатын. Бұл алты раундқа белілінген сынның бесінші раундында қазақ бокшыса Қытайды терен нокаутқа жіберді. Дәл қазір біз жадымызда қалған жартын жекпе-жектер айдарында осы кездесуді тағы бір мәрте назарларыңызға сұмбақ бас. Тамашалаңыздар! Left hand is a weapon, Barry, and what he—he's got a little bit of devil about him. And when you and I have seen him several times ringside in the last few months, it's the left hand to the body which has been his most potent weapon. And what he has, what all good fighters have, and what all potentially good fighters have as well, is great judgment of distance and good timing. And and they—they they outdo speed and strength and or every time. And he has that in the locker. Sometimes he waits a little bit too long to do his work, and he can be a, a little bit too methodical. But when he is switched on, as we've seen in the past, he's very, very impressive. And he's got a very accurate also. Sorry. He's always smiling and joking around sort of backstage and, and out of the ring, but he's got a little bit of a wicked streak once he gets in there. And he just made Tao blink with that long left hand. Oh, lovely. There it goes again. And look how wide the, the stare back was from... Tau, the 28-year-old, a little bit of blood coming from his nose now as that strong jab gets through, and this is a, a serious start from Zarbek. Well, however strong Tau is, what he is, is so easy to hit. That head's, in, that head's up in the air. It was, it, it's, there's no head movement either. It's very static, isn't it? So it's there to be hit every time. Swinging a bit wildly here. You can see the blood streaming from that nostril. It's good to see Zarbek working behind the, the jab, more so than we've seen him previously. Well, they come from an amateur system where the jab wasn't a, a, we, a real weapon. It was, a, it, was no, it was like a sword fencing type thing. They'd swing it along. It was all about, they called it backhands in the amateur game, you know, left hands or right hands. But you know, in the professional game especially, you, know, you need a good solid jab to push people back and to get your judgment and your timing and your distance, more importantly, for the, for the bigger shots. Slight culture change in recent years in in the amateur game elite, elite yeah. boxing and i think the world series of boxing the apb as well has been part of that the five and ten round distance and the things like body back. shots can can come into play and scrapping computer scoring as well that, that that's helped of course and of course lomachenko probably the best amateur of the last couple of decades uh, he had that experience uh, of, the, of the world series boxing too yeah if it gives you a fast track once you turn over to the pro games, because you've, you've, you've technically been a pro anyway, haven't you? Mind you, Lomachenko's so good, he probably could have done it any way he wanted and but continue to do so. Up against Anthony Crawler, of course, next. Nice bright start here, though, from Zarbeck. Well, it's a bonus getting to see Zarbeck tonight, and he's treating us to an excellent... We heard Angel Fern... You heard Angel Fernandez in that Zarbeck corner. It's slightly critical of him. Just 
suggesting that there's plenty of opportunity to let Tau come to Zarbeck and, and then find his shots. But I, I I thought he was getting through even more impressively in that round. He was, but he also, they know in the corner, they've they, they got a guy here who's tailor-made for him, a guy who comes forward with, you know, with an open target. The arms are wide open, the head doesn't move. So for someone like Zarbeck, who literally just, for some reason, ends, took a pivot on the front foot and turned his back there on, on Tau. But, but he just, you know, he, he can, he'd be quite comfortable to time his shots with Tau coming forward. We haven't seen the body shots yet. That that was the one thing. We've seen it in two of his fights, Barry, where he actually waits for the, the attack. And this this guy should be tailor-made for, for that, waits for the attack, and then really thrusts almost that uppercut body shot with the left hand. I think it's because the head's so inviting, but it's there. It's a, it's quite, it's a big head, let's be honest, and, and, it's, and it's there in front of him. So it's a, it's, it's a clear target they're aiming for. And he's not missing. So in a sense, why change it? Shot. And again. But just single shots up on Zabek. He's missing, he's winning everything, so we're being critical of a guy who's, who's dominating, but just single shots, but he can just rattle off the combinations a little bit more. He's got a fellow Kazakh, fellow South Paul, and Nurtas Ashbinov in, in the same gym yeah. as well. You think they'll they've done plenty of sparring. Big Isaac Chamberlain's in that gym as well, Barry, too, but I, uh, I don't know if he'd be sparring Chamberlain. No. About six and, and, weight and, and divisions and they, above. They both get in together and spar. <laughs> the cruiserweight Chamberlain. Now, apparently Wilder has often done that. Deontay, <laughs> isn't he? Two or three people in the inside the, the ropes at the same time. What? Well, this is a... A classy oh, amateur now translating to the pro game in, in Zarbeck. He was uh, high up in the, the youth ranks back in, in 2014. Silver medalist in that competition. He was Asian champion as well. And actually, that, nice. that 2014 tournament, the World Championships, Barry, that youth thing, uh, the fly division was won by certain Shakur Stevenson, who's been in the news recently. He's planting his feet now, though, Alex. Here's Arbex, a lovely punches from him there. And again, he's not rattling them off in combinations, but they're coming quick after one another. They're single shots, but they're quick after each other. Uh, Tau is getting hammered. He is uh, bloodied, too. That was a big round for Zarbeck. World champion, applying the Vaseline to Zarbeck. Round four. Into round four, scheduled for six, this one. It's getting a bit harder for Chen Gong Tao. He's been plowing forward repeatedly, but picked off, and the shots have been getting more accurate and harder in the last round and a half. There's that body shot that I was asking for from Zarbeck. And also better from Zarbeck there, because he's trying to get some uppercuts into place, so just different angles of attacks on the punches. Just give him a little bit more variety in his work there. Keep Toe guessing and, and panicking at where the next shots are coming from. Because he clearly takes a good shot and he obviously he dines out on that. I think that's, that's what, he, what he plays and he can walk through you. And he's also been 10 rounds just a couple of months ago as well. So we, we know he has that kind of fitness level in the bank and you can imagine it was 10 rounds of him walking through punches as well to land his own so body oh, shots body now shot. coming in from Zarbeck belatedly it's been a bit of win one lose one for Tau his last half dozen fights Nice footwork there from Zabek there, lovely spinning around the target. Again, what we were talking about earlier, a sharper turn. Just went a little bit too far maybe to counter again, to, to go another phase of attack, but it was a good little move. And by and large, uh, so far, very early on in his career, Zabek, he, he has been fighting at kind of 
between Super Feather, largely lightweight. That he's a few pounds north, I think, of where he's going to be. We, we're suspecting it's going to be Super Feather, Barry. Yeah, I think so. I, I think you've got to make your safety the weight, of course, but you want to be the the, the biggest you can for the, the, the lightest weight you possibly can. If not, not a million miles in divisions from the likes of Shakur Stevenson and Michael Conlon, who's a brother Jamie's yeah, ringside uh, tonight, who won just uh, the other week. Conlon looking to get that professional revenge match with Nikitin, isn't he? Not a I think Nikitin is not ready for him yet, though, in my opinion. It's good there for oh. Zarek. I was just about to say, he just Body put, shot. took his foot off the pedal a little bit, but that was a nice little, uh, little two-punch combination there from him. And I, I, You just sense that Tao, because of the, the punishment and the shots that he has taken clean throughout the four rounds so far, he just started to slow down a bit. But Zabek's winning, he's winning comfortable, he's boxing really well. But can you see where you could criticise the the one pace slightly where he wants to just be comfortable at his own pace and not go through the gears that we quicker than he, he, he possibly could little He maybe doesn't show it enough. He shows some beautiful one punch skills. Let's talk about beautiful. Look at that for a beautiful, beautiful, fantastic view from here. We can um, see that now, Alex. We look up and that's what we see. Here at the Emirates Golf Club. Prestigious environment to be hosting professional boxing tonight. Fantastic scenery and setup. And uh, I think so many of the fighters on the bill tonight, every single one of them have been spurred on by the occasion and the opportunity. I, there's, you know, there's something, just fighting outdoors, there's something special about it. I don't know why, he, whatever it may be, but there is. I've, I've fought outdoors a couple of times as an amateur and as a pro. But outdoors, it, it, it has that, that, that aura. Well, Maybe because it, it goes back to, you know, the days where there were, there were no rings. And for the, for the, for the Brits, uh, and the, the Irish, sort of, we're used to, we're used to sort of stadium fights when, when it's an yes. outdoor events, you know, football, soccer, soccer grounds, football grounds. We don't have a bit like the Americans would have the uh, the, the stub hub centre. Yeah, we don't yeah. really no. have those those kind of no, no, sort of slightly smaller out, outside uh, areas to watch boxing. They're oh. fantastic looking uh, occasions. Oh, what a, oh shot. what a shot! He's out, almost out straight and cold. The referee dispenses with a count. It was the, the right hand that did it. And Zarbeck is across, celebrating the other side of the ring. What an explosive conclusion to this one. And he came out with a little bit more intent. Like he was just planting his feet a little bit more with the... the, the...